What's going on everybody? Gary from Killer Offered Hobbies and today we're doing a first, yes, a first. This is going to be my first review and my thoughts video of a drone. Um, I'm normally a basher, a ground-based RCs guy, but um, I got this drone and I had a ton of fun with it. So there will be more drones to come on this channel. And a funny thing to mention is that um, my first look video of this little cheap $50 drone is my most watched video. Um, out of all the crazy bashing sessions I've done at skate parks and down with Rich Duper Bash, what's up buddy? Um, yeah, the first look video of the Magic Speed X52 cheap, cheap, cheap drone is my most viewed video I have on my channel. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty interesting. All right, anyways, getting past that. So yes, I'm going to uh, do a full review and my thoughts video on this little drone. Um, as I said, I picked this up for 50 bucks. Uh, it did come with battery charger, transmitter. All I had to do was throw batteries in this, charge the battery for this, and I was off and flying for my first time. Um, this is my first drone I've ever had. I have kind of learned how to fly drones a tiny, tiny little bit with this thing, and I have had a blast doing it. Now, I understand the flight videos aren't all that fun because of some complications I had with this drone, but we'll go over that. Um, I don't want to make this video overly long and drawn out, so let's just hop into it. Okay, so basically, I got this drone just thinking, hey, you know, I'll just snag up a $50 drone, see if I like it, and see if people on my channel like it. Well, um, people that watch my channel or watch my flight videos on this thing aren't overly happy to be watching that because the camera that came with this guy that used to basically, like, hook on right here... Um, the lens was mounted upside down and yes, 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 I know I tried all the stuff um, To flip it over and all of that stuff. I could not figure it out So basically I got frustrated I threw the camera away for this drone and I decided I was just gonna fly it around It was a $50 drone anyways, so the first time I ever Flew this thing the first thing that happened was I went to take off and it just kaput uh, flew into the ground basically and then I got to fly it. It was pretty windy of course because it's always windy here for some reason now and uh, Yeah, I crashed it and I broke one of the propellers. No big deal at all um, My second flight went very 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 smooth uh, considering that I'm a newbie and Third and fourth flights were very fun and then now I'm reviewing this thing so out of the crashes and stuff I've had being a newbie, I've only broken two minor things on this. I broke one of the propellers, which they send four extras, and I still have three. Whoa! <laughs> I still have three, so that is a definite plus. And which one is it? Which one? This guy right here. I have broke this little piece off several times. Um, I do just re-glue it, um, but I did break the glue again and I wanted to show you guys that I broke it before I glued it again <laughs> so yeah I did break that little plastic piece and I have broken one prop but besides that this thing has been stellar I've crashed it several times and it is pretty much not much worse for the wear uh, I found the flight of this thing to be excellent um, even in windy conditions I had an okay time uh, handling it. Like I said, I am a newbie. I am not very good at flying drones, especially in the wind. So, you know, I I guess what I'm trying to say is this thing did very well for me. Um, the transmitter, I had no problems at all. Very, very easy. I labeled it when I first got it uh, just to make sure I knew what everything was. And the automatic... Uh, flight, you know, the automatic uh, takeoff, the automatic landing, the hands-free mode, the return to home, and the full stop. Uh, all of those are excellent options. You even have camera adjustments and everything, which I didn't have because I threw the camera away out of frustration. But I think I'm just going to 
you know, for sake of time, I'm just going to tell you guys, I think this little thing's awesome. Like I said, this is my first drone I've ever had. First drone, first flight, all of that stuff. And um, I'm hungry for more. I definitely want to get another drone, a slightly better drone. I don't want to go crazy just yet and spend a bunch of money on a drone because I still am not very good at flying. Like, not at all, not even a little bit. But other than that, you know, I got uh, the battery I got with this thing kind of pooped out after a couple uh, flights. So I was able to get four batteries and a four-way charger for like 10 bucks for this thing. So I went that route. Now I can fly for quite a long time if I so choose to, just spending an extra 10 bucks. So 60 bucks for how much fun I've had with this thing is absolutely worth it. Uh, the crashes this thing has taken and everything, um, I totally, totally approve of this thing. Uh, recommend it, I'm not sure because I haven't had a bunch of drones. Like I said, this is my first drone ever, but um, I would definitely buy this again uh, for sure. 50, 60 bucks with four batteries and a four-way charger you can get this thing and learn how to fly. And this thing does have three different speeds. So you can uh, start out slow, go a little bit faster, go a little bit faster. Like I said, the transmitter um, did very well. All the buttons work, all of that stuff. The only problem I had was the battery that came with it kind of pooped out after a couple flights. And the camera, the lens was uh, put in upside down, which was just a manufacturing error error but you know it's totally forgivable and you know it was a really crummy camera anyway so the video footage probably wouldn't have been very exciting anyways but this definitely gets a thumb up in my stamp of approval i do very very much like this drone the magic speed x52 and i guess i would recommend it to uh somebody new to the hobby that wants to try flying out uh it's fun. It's very, very fun. All right, everybody. So I hope that kind of gives you a idea of what I think. And uh, if not, was at least slightly entertaining for you. If it was, please hit that thumbs up. If not, don't be shy about smashing that thumbs down. If you got time, please check out that description. You can become a patron and get rewards for doing so. You can get killer off-road hobbies merchandise. You can get in on raffles. The sky's the limit. We got a lot of fun stuff going on here at Killer Offroad Hobbies, so stay tuned. Until the next video, I'm Gary saying get out there, get an RC, go have some fun, and we'll see you then. Peace.